15 years ago, about that time, the concept of the land of Ardithian landed in my world. And it was one of those words that just resonated in my bones as important. I remember the day my husband kind of jokingly said, well, that's so Ardithian. And it just felt like it was meant to be a word that would become a compass rose, a guide for me as I maneuvered my way through the world. Um, I'm a painter. I was a creative writer back when I taught the young, became a national writing fellow, and I loved painting with words. It was my first love before I ever picked up a paintbrush. But a lot of things happened in my life where I ended up having to give up that. Um, I turned to creativity and painting as a way to cope through a lot of medical journey. And I'm here today to acknowledge that the seed planted in my heart, in my head, so many years ago, never left. And it grew uh, and helped me develop the career that I have, the passion that I have. I'm currently in um, the middle of creating a children's book project. I call it a children's book project because it's not simply a picture book, a small picture book. Um, the Land of Ardithian has been a book project concept that I've had in my head for years and years. When I first painted Arlie of Ardithian with rainbow colored hair, she was catapulting off the porch. I knew then that that was a character that was important to me. But I did not stop long enough that back then to actually write the story. I just painted faster than I could move the words. And my body began to heal. My career began to alter and change. And I trusted my imagination to learn to paint things that I love with my version of beautifully different and interesting. And it's not just things that I love, but it's characters. Really deliciously odd and beautiful and um, different types of characters that look otherworldly, along with painting energy abstractly. So those things all combined over the years to help me connect with people from around the world and ideas. And the more that I created these characters, little by little I began to understand that I wanted to write a book of poetry that would describe these characters. And the land of Ardithian came to be in concept in my head and in my heart. But over the years, I realized if I did not commit to that project at some point, I needed to let it go. And last December, I had the moment of truth and clarity that it was time to embrace the project because I was not willing to let it go. So I actually let go of some things that were really important to me, and that was hard. But I had to make time. I had to make time to give myself to spend in this world as I decided to write the words and build the narrative and imagine the settings and characters that will be built in this world because it's not simply one character with a story. It's an absolute attempt at world building in a rather large, um, imaginative, creative way. And I could not be more excited about the progress that I've already made. The book won, so it would be called The Predictably Unpredictable Tales from the Land of Ardithian, book one, is two-thirds, a little bit over two-thirds already finished, and I'm so excited about how it's developing. And the Wooglings Club, which is what you have an opportunity to join, is something that's going to be very special to me, and it's a unique opportunity that I, as an author, illustrator, painter, am going to offer my viewers and readers uh, that's a little bit different than most because as much as I'm excited about writing and illustrating a book and getting it published and you being able to purchase a book, I really would rather offer an opportunity for you to engage with me as I write, as I polish, as I edit, as I go through the mental decision making that I am needing to build this creative project really, really well. So in this story, the Wooglians play a very important role. Um, the two characters, Arlen and Minterton, um, Arlen is six and Minterton is 13 at the beginning of the story. And they meet out of a little bit of uh, traumatic circumstances and they're kind of held captive. And they use their imagination and creativity as a coping mechanism to really kind of uh, manage the tough things going on around them. 
And what ends up happening is that it's revealed to them that the reality of what they think they know is a little bit different because there's an additional world that exists along with the reality of the regular world. And that world is called the land of Ardithian. And they will journey into it and eventually become um, known there and go on these wild, nonsensical, creative um, experiences to solve some problems, solve a mystery of who they are, and bring some courage and hope into not only their hearts, but in the lives of the people and the characters that they connect with. The Wooglians are characters in this story that want to be in the know. They pride themselves on bettering themselves in the curiosities and fascinations that they have. So if you can imagine what is something that you love to do, like I love to paint and I love to write, so I spend time studying how to do that. And I would be a Wooglian when it comes to painting and writing. You might be a Wooglian when it comes to cooking or baking or doing math or tech. It's whatever we love to do that we passionately do, we embrace that. And as a Wooglian in the story, those characters want to be in the know and they have very specific character traits and responsibilities that move the story along. The Wooglians Club that I'm introducing uh, you to right now is an opportunity for you to join me every single month beginning in January up until October when the physical book actually launches with the big solo show and the opening huge celebration. But I am going to be reading aloud from the chapters in the book. Once a month, I'm going to gather on Zoom. I'm going to read the chapter. I'm going to show you some artwork. I'm going to talk about um, how I'm making the decisions to put certain details and certain things into it. And then each week in the month, you'll get a recording of the next chapter and the next chapter. And you're going to get to pull up a chair and engage with me and ask questions and kind of get an intimate backstage look into how this whole project has come to be. It's also a way that's super important to me to support the project because this project is not for the faint of heart. It's rather huge and getting a book from idea to publication with all of these paintings, which will be about 60 something paint, uh, paintings, um, not only takes a whole lot of just physical effort, but a lot of expense with publication and things like that. So your participation in the Wooglians Club is an initial way of just saying, I want to see this project come to fruition. We are in the middle of some really hard days just as a society and, a, and a, you know, living in the world that we live in. There's so much stress and hard things that we deal with. And I, as a human being, felt like, I know for me and for my family, I wanted to bring this story forward as a way of stepping back and trusting my imagination and creativity uh, layered in a whole lot of hope and courage in the things that are uplifting and beautiful um, as a way to detach from all of the hard things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. This is just a way to give us a little bit of a breather um, in an imaginative, super fun way. So if you resonate with who I've been for the last 20 years, all my weirdness, and you know where I've been, or if you're just ready to allow your five-year-old self, even in your 65-year-old or your 25-year-old body, uh, to pull up a chair with me and experience the predictably unpredictable tales from the land of Ardithian over this next year, I would love for you to join me. Um, you're going to have private um, content website where you can log in and you can have the videos at your access so you can watch them on replay if you can attend the lives. The Wooglians Club themselves are going to have specific access and get first dibs on some really cool swag and digital downloads as the book uh, begins to get closer for publication and rollout. And y'all are going to be my people, my ARC readers, which is advanced reader copies. And I could not be more excited to share this entire experience with you. Um, the land of Ardithian is part of who I am. And I am passionate that all of the things in my life have brought me to this point to say, 
I have trusted them. I have these curiosities. I have these fascinations. I have this skill set. And I'm going to do due diligence to put them all together in this beautiful book project that I am uh, believing in. And I cannot wait to share it with you. So if you want to become a Wiggly and join the Wigglians Club, the details are below. If you have questions about it, um, one of them might be, well, what age range is this project for? The novel is middle grade, so about 8 to 12. But the books of poetry, the book of poetry will be something that you could read aloud to your littles as well as your big littles. Um, so make that decision for yourself. It's not like a toddler book in the sense um, it is... It is an epic journey and story full of adventure and imagination and uh, a couple of twists and turns, but I'm super excited about it. And too, if you join on a monthly basis, you can pull out at any time if you feel like it's not the age appropriate for your own children, but hopefully it will be. I'm really excited about that, and I look forward to meeting you all January 7th in the Zoom room. Cannot wait to get started with the unpredictably predictable tales from the land of Ardithian with the predictably unpredictable tales from the land of Ardithian book one.